Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new NBA 2K21 video. Today we're going to be talking about next gen. And honestly, I don't want to turn this video into a rant. I feel like I'm already about to start ranting. But basically, there have been a lot of people that have been trying to pick this brain. Yes, this bald brain right here about next gen. Now, I've been approached by my boy Peter, um, Red City Boy. Boy, Davis done hit me up. Me and Agent have talked about this. Me and Chase Money literally have been in Discord called screen sharing about this. I've talked to 3MG about this. Me and Trey have argued up and down about this. This this could be a goddamn epidemic. Is the next gen, we have a freaking problem. A huge, huge problem. Now, of course. Everybody that said, I wanted to wait till next gen. I don't want to play current gen. I'm sick and tired of 2K. Won't you be sick and tired of 2K when next gen come? You only waited a couple months. You're still going to play their game. But what people have been leading on is that they're so tired of current gen and the way that it plays, the way that it looks, that they want something new. And yes, we'll be getting the city. That's going to be brand spanking new. Great. But what you don't understand is the amount of money you have to put out is going to be crazy. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. I'm going to I'm going to tear shit down like after pay, uh, uh, bill me later, like all all these. Let's get on a payment plan and pay for these things. I am super, super against it because all it's going to do is put people in debt and people that are not earning money or earning enough money to pay these bills back within that same month are going to have a problem. So check it. This is what I want to talk to y'all about. Everybody knows how much a next gen console costs. They, what they not telling you is what Xbox and I believe PlayStation is doing it through other sources. They're allowing you to make payments on a console. There are there some are saying, oh, it's interest free, and you know what I mean. What happens when you don't pay on these interest free payments because you'll say, Oh, I already got my console, they burnt. That's what I literally 80% of the people that I know will think that way. They'll say, Shoot, my console's sitting in my living room, they burnt for their bread. You know what else is burnt? Your credit. Your credit burnt, and I ain't gonna really make it a credit thing, but let's be honest with yourself and with, with everyone that's watching this video. You're willing to make payments on something that you should already have been saving up the money for because we already knew about the consoles dropping. And if you don't have enough money, I don't think you should be trying to grab one. Simple as that. And this is why I say this. Their selling point is not 1080p. Their selling point is 4k hdr 120 hertz do y'all even can y'all even fathom what that means right now that means the tv or the monitor you're going to play on is going to be at least 800 dollars at least until 4k hdr one millisecond 144 hertz hdmi 2.1 will be streamlined across the entire platform right now there is not a lot of tvs and probably it's not even that many monitors it's probably like three monitors that can even stand up to those numbers that's out right now i'm not talking about things that are going to release in 2021 i'm talking about stuff that's out right now and they're $800 or more. Work with me, y'all. Let me dial it back a little bit because I might be a little bit too hype. But check it. I play NBA 2K. I've been playing NBA 2K since it came out. I've been making YouTube videos on NBA 2K since NBA 2K 10 and 11. What I'm trying to tell y'all is we going into the next gen needing way too much equipment. Now, me, myself. I have to get a new streaming PC. I have to get new monitors. My camera, thank God, is 4K. My capture card, thank God, it's 4K. But I have to get all this new stuff to make sure that I give you all the best quality content.
Now I can do that because the money that I earn from the, this YouTube channel and other sources of income because I'm an entrepreneur allows me to do that. But I'm telling you a college student that's paying on their college loans, that's paying maybe their housing, you not spending $1,200 on a console and a monitor. You're just not doing it. And if you are, why are you digging yourself a bigger hole? It's crazy to me. So Pete, I've done so much research. I've argued with so many people. I've discussed this with so many people. It just does not make sense. The PlayStation 5 and Xbox One both come out with these amazing specs. Beautiful. People are running benchmarks on them. They're testing games. Companies are doing reviews. It's, it's so beautiful. But then we hear that, oh, wait, if you want to play in 120 hertz, you have to get the new HDMI 2.1. That's not streamlined right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys on screen two articles that were written in the last eight days about HDMI 2.1 and why we won't get the bang for our buck. We, we are all, all of us, including me, are about to buy a console that can't even support its maximum settings because there aren't any monitors or TVs out there that are really ready. I have two articles here, right? The first article is the 10 best gaming monitors for PS5 in 2020. Rex McArthur, thank you for writing this article. This article came out November 5th, right? Let's just check it out, man. I just I just want y'all to see this, bro. I just I just I'm so oh my goodness. So check it out, man. People are talking about 1440p resolution on the PS5, right? That's what they talking about, right? Look at this, bro. This tagline right here alone. This right here is crazy. You might need to upgrade your gaming monitor to utilize the PS5 to its fuller potential. They already told you before your PS5 get here, you got to spend at least $800. At least $800, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Then they say the Xbox Series X don't even come in 1440p. This is what they're telling you. Now check this out. This is what I'm talking about right here. HDMI 2.1 is, is the latest version of HDMI that supports 4K at 120 frames per second. There is good news for all PS5 fans. Sony officially revealed that the supply cable in the PS5 box is in, in fact a ultra high speed HDMI 2.1 cable. Great. That's that's super that's super nice. Thank you so much for for providing a HDMI 2.1 cord. We we love it. You know? And then it says the great news is that you'll be able to enjoy 4K gaming at 120 hertz and 8K at 60 hertz. They're telling you now, don't for, don't forget about 4K, but now if you want to play in 8K, you can play in 8K if you would like. Now, it says below mentioned gaming monitors for PS5 or 4K monitors that you can consider for your PS5 gaming setup. Now, peep this, right? It says if you're if you are in a hurry or confused about PS5 gaming monitor, check out our top three recommendations, right? So we have VA panels and we have an IPS panel. I believe the IPS panels are the best. That's just that's just me. I do love IPS uh panels. But check out the refresh rate. You have a refresh rate of 120 hertz. 144 hertz 121 that overclocks to 144 hertz for all of my online gamers let's talk about response time their top three monitors are not one millisecond native <laughs> you understand what i'm saying to you it's not one millisecond native you have to go with a four millisecond native to go ahead and get the best out of it also for all of my pc people out there that stream most of us we don't use free sync right 
So we already got to cut two monitors out of our entire setup. You will have to go with this one right here. And also check this out, the inputs, the inputs, all of these monitors are HDMI 2.0, not HDMI 2.1. So check it, best gaming monitor for PS5 in 2020 is the Asus ROG Strix, right? This is a 43 inch gaming monitor. 43 inch, this, this can't fit on no gamer table unless it's the only monitor you got. A 43 inch monitor, bro. And most of us streamers, we run triple monitors and double at the least because you can't play the ps5 on one monitor and not control your comment section and your alerts and your stream labs or your obs on another you have to have two monitors <laughs> you know i'm saying and look at the price the price is one thousand and ninety nine dollars all right, so check it. The cons need enough distance between monitor and uh, eyes. So for all you gamers out there that's trying to put this on a desk, it's telling you to sit across the room when you're playing it because it's a 43 inch monitor. Right now we go down to the Acer Nitro. You know what I'm saying? Free sync and G sync. Great. Still HDMI 2.0. It has a one millisecond response time and it's overclocked to 144 Hertz if needed. So it's not even native 144, it's native 120 and it has to be overclocked. All right. It's a thousand dollars. This monitor costs a thousand dollars. Do you understand what I'm saying to y'all? That's two PS5s. That's two of them. All right, and the cons, not true HDR, decent speakers, no pivot. Then you got a LG that's $400, right? Check this out, 32 inch QHD already. That ain't 4K, that's not 4K. You got a 32 inch monitor that ain't 4K. You understand what I'm saying to you? It's not 4K. The whole selling point of the PS5 and the Xbox Series X is 4K resolution. <laughs> Terrible. Acer, we're back to the Predators, baby. Look at this, 27 inch 4K IPS, one millisecond response time. We got another overclocker here. We got another overclocker for almost $1,200. Samsung Odyssey, this is a curved panel. Us gamers, we don't do curved panels like that. But guess what? It's still $800 after taxes. You understand me? Listen, let's keep going. Acer Nitro, another, another one. Guess what? It ain't 4K. Great. Thanks. Also, HDR doesn't work well. Great, for $485. Great, and it's still an HDMI 2.0. AOC. Six hundred dollars, it and this right here. Look, still we st when, when they gonna give it? Well, come on, man. Look at this, man. What 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 type of what type of resolution display is that? What type of games is we playing? We're not playing no games on that. Six hundred dollars. Look, another Acer Predator, baby. Another one. Look, four millisecond response time. A nice little IPS four K. Uh oh, wait. HDMI two point oh. Um, no, there, darn it. There you go again. That darn two point oh. But guess what though? A whopping $1,800 for one monitor. One monitor. <sighs> Alienware, I don't even, Alienware, I don't even wanna hear what you doing with this WQHD resolution display. Sit down somewhere. And you working with HDMI version 1.4, go sit down. No, no, no compatible cord can help you. Uh, the Spectre. Look at that, five millisecond response time, full HD, not 4K, free sync, not G-Sync for all my Intel users out there. Refresh rate, 200 Hertz, oh, okay. Still got that HDMI 2.0 for 278. And look, is this a curvature? I think, I think no, it's the ultra wide display. So it kind of got like a little curve to it, but guess what, it ain't got no HDR, sit down. 
Now look at this. Things to consider before uh, buying a gaming monitor for PS5. The latest PlayStation PS5 is coming up with better specs and design. The video output of PS5 is better than other versions of the PlayStation. And to get a complete benefit of what PS5 can give you, make sure you get the best gaming monitor for PS5. There are a few things that you should consider before picking up the gaming monitor for your brand new PS5. Refresh rate. They telling you straight up. Look, look at this. Look at this. Most of the 4K TV is good enough to give you 4K 120 FPS output through HDMI 2.1 port. Check out best TVs for PS5. Now they like, oh, well, we just shot down all the all the monitors just now, just in this one in this one sentence. They shot down every monitor that's out here now. <laughs> Your resolution. We all are used to 4K gaming, but here is something extraordinary coming up with the PS5. You can now play games at 8K. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody got no money for no 8K gaming monitor. Panels. Talking about panels, we always recommend getting an IPS panel for gaming. You wanna know why? Because of the colors, the array. It makes it look good. You can also consider a TN panel, which is known for its unmatched performance. TN panels are trash. That's like having a plasma TV. Okay. Look at this. Frequently asked questions. Can I use my old PS4 monitor with my PS5? Definitely yes. But if you are using a 60 hertz monitor with the PS4, you will not be able to enjoy the 120 FPS gameplay on the PS5. You just won't. You can't. They're not going to let you. Come on, man. Come on, guys. And look. I ain't even going to stay that long on this article. This article was written by Oguz on November 2nd, 2020, right? Last update. He updated this about six days ago, right? Look at the update. I ain't, gonna, I ain't even going to go that long. Look, update. Asus and Acer have recently announced four new HDMI 2.1 monitors, which will be released in a couple months. Read more below. We have included a complete list of expected HDMI 2.1 monitors as well. So if you go down... Look at this. They got a full list, right? Mm hmm. Look at these. Look at these. Look, look, look. This right here is a screenshot. This is supposed to be the new Acer XV282K HDMI 2.1 monitor. Look at the specs 4K, baby. Um, I think that's uh, the colors 550 nits. Um, this is a free sync monitor, by the way. It's not even, it's not even a G sync. You know what I'm saying? They got the new Asus uh, ROG HDMI 2.1 monitor coming out soon, 28 inch. You know what I'm saying? It's most likely going to be 4K with a 240 hertz uh, refresh rate. You know what I'm saying? And look, certified by AMD FreeSync, blah, blah, blah. It's over. It's over. For everybody out there that's talking about this, oh, I'm, I can't wait for next gen. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going crazy on next gen. I'm, this, this game going to look good. It's going, game going to look good. It's going to play good. You won't be able to enjoy this next gen console unless you paying at least $800 for a monitor. For a monitor. A monitor is going to cost as much as a gaming PC. You're not going to enjoy nothing. You're not going to enjoy it. You're not. I'm sorry. I know you probably came here thinking that this video was going to be dope. I know I'm probably killing a lot of people's dreams. But listen, if you made it to this part in the video, I know you're going to need my help. Because you you behind this screen are going to be one of those people that are going to take out payments on a monitor and a console. What I want you to do is join my Discord. Discord.gg slash iPodKingCarter. Join my iCredit chat and take my 18 to 24 month plan to rebuild your credit. If your credit is fucked up, ain't no coming back. There's always a way to come back. And my shit will help you actually. You know what I'm saying? Without you having to put out all this money for all these like repair people and shit. But listen, man, just make smart decisions in this upcoming next gen. I know that Black Friday is on the way. They got deals going on right now. Christmas is around the corner. It's going to be crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? And with that being said, I want to thank y'all for actually coming through to the video. If you enjoyed the video and the rant, hit that like button. 
If you can't stand me, leave a comment. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.